Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel, or if this is your first visit, welcome to the channel. Um, today I'm going to be taking a look at this uh, Great Eastern Cutlery Farm and Field Tool um, Bullnose that was uh, very kindly supplied by subscriber Trader Joe. Thank you very much Trader Joe. Um, tell you what, let's get it out of the packaging and have a look at it shall we guys. This one has um, OD Green Canvas Micarta grips. Get it out. And here we see the uh, nice uh, anti rust packaging paper, whatever you call that stuff. And there we are, guys, look at that. Okay, so I'm sure you'll agree this is a very nice looking knife. Got some very nice. Uh, canvas micarta scales going on here. Uh, we have a uh, lanyard hole here. I shall try and get some paracord through there shortly. Um, let's back it out a bit. This has a very strong back spring on it so it does take a little bit of um, opening. There it goes. So it's uh, very much the same as my um, Lansky knives. These two here have uh, very strong uh, back springs too. You've got to be careful how you uh, open and close these up too. Um, there we go, you can hear that. This one is uh, almost as strong, if not just as strong. It's got the uh, half stop on it, so it doesn't close all the way on your fingers. All right. Yes, it is strong. Let's, um, let's take a closer look at it, shall we, guys? We will start with the uh, Zero One tool steel blade, which, as you can see, is a, a full flat grind. Um, there's the uh, nice, I like this actually, bull nose logo with this uh, long horn on there. It's nice, is that? I like that. Um, you can also see at the top of the blade here, on the spine, there's a, a bevel. And there's the top of the spine there, and uh, the bevel is also on the other side too. Look, that's 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 nice. I like that. Very nice touch. I move along here. We can see it's um, farm field and tool, and it does actually say underneath there, made in the USA. But it's all like hidden by the um, handle a little bit. What we've got on the other side. There we go. A GEC zero one tool, Titusville. PA and there's the model number 715114. Let's take a look at these um, grips. The OD Green um, Canvas Micarta. I mean, just look at that. It's nice, isn't it? The uh, pivot pin has been finished nicely too with these little um, washers on here with F and F USA. But the uh, grips. Very nice. We've also got liners in here. What's the uh, inside it like? I bet it's nice and clean in there. Yeah, I thought it would be somehow. Very nice. There's the, uh, one of the pins that holds it all together. And then we have a nice brass um, lanyard hole here. I'll try and get some paracord through there in a moment or two. Here's the back spring. It's quite nicely finished too. Let's see if we can, um, there you go, look. That work. So if we try and open it now without cutting ourselves. Oh, there we are, back spring working. We'll close it because, oh, I wanna see how, what the blade centering is like on this thing. I would say that's pretty damn fine. It's very nice. There's the other side of the uh, scales. I do like this finish, this uh, canvas micarta. Exceptionally nice. Very nice indeed. Look at the end pattern, look. <laughs> Let's take a look at a few dimensions. Um, 
I've measured this at uh, open length of 175 millimeters. Um, the handle length is 98 millimeters. Overall blade length from the uh, beginning of the handle here is um, 77 millimeters with a cutting edge of 74 millimeters. Um, here it is in comparison with my um, Lansky Madrock World Legal. So it's a you know comparable size. Just looks a little more traditional than this thing here. Um, what else do we have? The Lansky World Legal. Again, this looks a little more um, you know more aggressive, styly. Okay. And here we have my uh, San Renmu 9051. So this is a considerably bigger, as you can see, guys. Okay. So, what does this very nice knife weigh? Two and a half ounces, 71 grams. I think we better try and get some um, paracord through this uh, lanyard hole here, shall we? I've got my usual amount of paracord here, um, as you can see, it's a genuine article, 550. Um, I've got a melted end here. How easy is it to get through? Well, very easy indeed. Look at that, it's a perfect fit actually. So, if you like a little um, bit of paracord in whatever style you like, you can actually uh, get it on there. Nice. All right, then, guys. So, uh, what's it like ergonomically then? What's it like to use? Well, as I say, it's a very strong back spring there. Uh, the blade is a regular fingerprint magnet. So, you know, you've got to look at it, and you've got a fingerprint on there. Look at this. That is very nice. Very nice to hold it. As you can see, big hands. I've got all four fingers on the handle there. It's nice and wide as well. Um, nicely rounded. I'll tell you what we better do, guys. We better get the uh, bits of bag in, because then we can really see what it's like to, uh, to hold. Let us commence cutting. Let's see if we can knock a corner off this sheet of paper with it. Yes, definitely. Nice push cut by the looks of it. Can I get it going again? Yes. That's quite nice, isn't it, guys? What about the uh, the tip here? What's that like? Get it started. Um, yes, it seems reasonably... Um, oh, hang on. Wait a minute. Hmm. That's not too bad. Okay, um, I've got a little bit of decent sized cardboard here. Let's see what we can do with that. Cut across the grain. Oops, what's oh dear. Yep, so it chops that up when you get, get it right. Look, I need a bigger bit of cardboard, really. This is a uh, rubbish, it's getting too small now. Right, um. Any cheapy old rope here. If I can get the end of it. Where is it? What's going on here? It's all nicely tangled up is what's going on here. Right, so we'll get a nice um, length of it going. Fold it over a few times so we've got a goodly amount of uh, to cut through. So it's not the best stuff in the world, but you know, you can uh, get a rough idea what a blade is like. Get him in there. Push. Yeah, nice. Cut through that one nicely. Get him back in here. <coughs> um, where's that? There we are. Speaker style cable. Shall we try some of that? Yeah, let's do that, shall we? In it goes. And, oh yeah, didn't even know it was there, look. Awesome. Let's try the sticker stuff there. So 24020 
and 24 strands of just under quarter of a millimetre copper. Pop him in and again, yep, straight through it. Right, what about some uh, something like a um, off cut of um, large zip tie then? This will give it a bit of a test. Hang on, let's just try the end first. That shaves the end uh, quite nicely. Hmm. Took the end off nicely. Right in. See what it's like cutting through it then, shall we, guys? Yeah. A little bit of effort required, but not too bad at all, really. Um, oh, what about. Here we are. The old um, package strapping look. This is good stuff. This is really thick and strong. So let's have a look. Blimey. The light's chewing its way through that then. That was effortless. Blimey. Right, anyway. <clears throat> let's have a look. Yep. Cut through that nicely. Tell you what, let's get a Lynx seatbelt in, shall we? Thank you very much for sending this in, Link. Right in. Get him in there. Look at that, it should cut through there quite easily, I would have thought. Hopefully one slice with any luck. Almost. There we go. Right, what we'll do is we'll get the um, old chopping block in. Let's see what this uh, tip is like. Let's have a look, shall we? Yes, it might need a bit of a sharpen, to be honest with you. Hmm, I think I could do with a bit of a sharpening up, to be honest with you. Just try to uh, lower down on the uh, belly. Yeah, I see on the belly it's doing it. The belly of the blade is um, slicing through quite nicely, so that tip might need, just, might need a bit of a touching up, I think. Right in. Belly on the rope. Yep. Mm hmm. Um, what about this uh, cable? It's wire. Yeah. Cuts it out very nicely. How about this stuff as well? Yep. Very nice too. Um, tell you what, let's get some, uh, got some pipe here. So if, it, if it's not very sharp, it will usually flatten this stuff. So we try it on the. Uh, there we go. Cut it through just behind the belly. Look, let's cut through that quite nicely. Let's just see what it does with the uh, this tip. Then it's flattened it a bit, so it's not. It does need a bit of a touch up with it. The, the uh, front of the blade here. Ping around the room. It's flattened it a little bit, but it's, it's uh, still a nice blade, though, guys. Yes, quite nice and sharp. Apart from the front here, as you can say, could do with a bit of a probably um, uh, what's the word now, stropping or a quick touch with something. But other than that, I quite like it. So we have a very nice traditional style knife here. A um, bit of a strong back spring on it. Just take some opening. But other than that, it's very nice actually. As I say, I think you could find uh, you should be able to carry this quite legally in the UK. It's uh, non tactical, non threatening, uh, non locking as well. Very nice. Quite like it. And say so we have, um, so what's the sound of the box? It says uh, 01 tool steel for the blade. Um, I think it's a fairly decent steel. You might have to look after it because it will probably, uh, from what I've read, it might rust if you don't. Um, look after it properly. Um, other than that, it's fine, because it does come in this uh, special paper, when, you know, when you get it. So it's obviously there to stop it from going rusty. But it's a very nice blade. We've seen it's nice and sharp. Uh, I'm going to have to uh, try and touch up this uh, edge just here. It's a little bit blunt, but other than that, it's fine. It's a nice little blade. Um, it's, it's actually very good of Trader Joe to send it in for me. Thank you very much. Trader Joe, loving it. Very nice, nice. Um, if any of you guys out there have got one, um, you can let me know in the comments below. How, how, what do you think of it? How you get on with it? Um, so far, very nice. It's very comfortable to hold. Quite comfortable to use. 
Okay then, guys. So, what, what do you think of the knife? I like it. They're comfortable to hold, even uh, that away. I've not managed to cut myself with it yet, look. Um, pretty uh, cut free so far, but we better not speak too soon, eh? Touch wood. So, um, let's say if you've got any comments or any questions on the knife, if you you know if you've got any questions on it, please uh, pop them down below, and I'll take a look at them, see if I can answer them for you. Um, if you've not done so already, you can uh, subscribe to the channel. That would help me uh, quite a bit. Um, if you do so, don't forget to uh, ring this little bell here. That um, will give you the option of receiving updates as to when, as and when I put videos out there. Um, you can also follow me on uh, Instagram, and those who already do so will have seen this knife, uh, along with all the other stuff Trader Joe very kindly sent in uh, early this week. Uh, I think it, this package came in Tuesday when I came in from work. It was there waiting for me. Quite a nice surprise, actually. Okay, um, don't forget there's also my uh, new Patreon page and you can subscribe to me on there as well. That will help the channel out. Thank you very much guys. Okay then, well I hope you uh, enjoyed this review. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I certainly have enjoyed uh, playing with this today. It's a very nice knife. I had fun chopping stuff up, <laughs> as per usual. Um, and I'm sure I'll have uh, many years of... Uh, enjoyable playing with it to come so once again thank you very much to trader joe for sending it in very very kind of you indeed um, thank you guys for watching uh, and i'll hope you'll pop back again uh, for another review at some point in the future all right then guys thank you very much thanks for watching laters Rough.